I started playing Bedrock Edition back in September of 2017 when it came to Xbox. At least I think it was September 2017. It sounds right because my channel came out in August of 2017. And man, I can't believe it's been over three years since I've been making Minecraft videos. Now, what you're looking at is over three years worth of redstone builds. And you can imagine when I first started on a Bedrock, the world was not this big. In fact, we are flying over one of my original areas where I made my first builds. And it's so crazy to come back and take a look at these. Sometimes I come back, I look at builds, and I'm like, what does that even do? I, I, I honestly don't remember what it was for. But there is one build in particular that I wanted to take a look at today. And that is my first triple piston extender. Speaking of things where I don't remember what it did, that noise you heard in the last clip is one of those things. Now, looking at it, I do remember what it does, but this is one of many redstone builds that did not see the light of day. And what this is, is a disc changer. So if it functions properly and doesn't fall down below, which I think is why I never went through with it, we eject the disc, and it switches to the next song. And what's supposed to happen is the disc is supposed to be caught down below, like that. And then it switches and then all the discs go back into the system here to be loaded at random. So that's what that was. But let's go ahead and take a look at that triple piston extender. And this is my first triple piston extender that I made on Bedrock Edition. Now for those who know, and it's still true to this day, Bedrock Edition Redstone does not have the same timing as Java Edition. So what that means is that triple piston extenders that you would see in Java definitely would not work in Bedrock. So that required me to figure out all of the timings. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So we have the triple piston extension right there, and then we have ourselves the retraction. Now, if you were to ask me how does all of the timing work, I would simply say I don't remember because it's one of those builds that I made years ago. I meant to make it a tutorial, but as you can see, it would have been very, very difficult to try to explain all of this. But this, yeah, this was my very first vertical triple piston extender. Over right here, here is my horizontal triple piston extender. And I have this little tower here. All these little towers that you see are builds that I meant to make tutorials on. Don't know if I actually did or not, but I definitely did not make one on this triple piston extender. Again, the reason being uh, trying to explain <laughs> trying to explain all of these timings. But let's go ahead and flip it. Triple piston extension action. And then retraction. Again, I, I honestly don't remember how all of these timings work. After making this triple piston extender, I was determined to put this into a build, but I didn't know how I was going to do it because, yeah, it's just, it's just really bulky. But needless to say, I managed, I managed to make it into a build, and it is this one here. And it was actually showcased in my first piston house. And how this works is we flip the lever, we get this cool little staircase, we have our triple piston extension, double piston extension, and then a single, all side by side. And when we flip the lever again everything retracts back into the floor and this has a pillar above it so that means I meant to make this a tutorial at some point but again uh, very very bulky build a lot of different timings and everything like that you can see the triple piston extender right there the double piston extender and I just wasn't comfortable trying to make a tutorial on this and trying to explain all of the timings and again looking at this uh, I'm not sure if I would even be able to explain it today since we're already taking a trip down memory lane, I did find the original world where I made this piston house. As you can see, it is dated 11618. So, yeah, almost, that's almost three years ago also in a couple more months here. But, uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do is let's go ahead and open it. Here we are almost three years later, my first one chunk redstone piston house. So if we head inside, I believe the staircase was right here. There it is, and of course all of the redstone was hidden down below, and I think I had to put this planter over some of the redstone to cover it up. But man, it is so crazy coming back. That was, that was another thing. It was so crazy coming back to see all of this. Little potion brewing station. What else was here? I think we had a little trap door 
or something around here. I don't remember what it was. No, there was something there. Then we had, what, a little staircase? Man, this is so fun. <laughs> this is so fun going back and looking at all of these builds from way back when. So cool. There's actually one more build that I made out of that triple piston extender, and we can see it down below, and it looks like I did manage to compact it way more than the other one. And I do apologize about any lag that's been showing because my Xbox is streaming to my laptop, so I know at times it gets choppy. You may see a network quality at the bottom. Pretty sure I just saw that. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. So this was just supposed to be a room, and then we push it. And then it takes us up, which is which is very cool. Again, meant to make a tutorial of it, never did, but let's press it and we can get back down below. That's, I believe that's all I made out of that triple piston extender. Actually, I do have a couple more triple piston extender builds. This one uses a more updated version of one that I made. And this one's pretty old also, but this is supposed to be a clock. And what we would do is flip this here. This would take us down into our little secret area. And to go back up, we would just flip this once again. And it would take us back up and apparently get us stuck, stuck in the floor. And it looks like my batteries are low. Last triple piston extender build that I'm going to showcase is this one here. Once again, we have a pillar. It was supposed to be a tutorial, but like all the other ones, never saw the light of day. And for a good reason, because I just couldn't get this part to hide behind a wall. I guess if we did, I don't know, I guess if we did something like this, we could hide it. Hide it around the corner like that. But uh, I think that's why I never actually released this. And looking at the timings again, it would be very, very difficult to explain, but this was supposed to be a pop-out staircase. So we do that. Boom, triple piston extender, double piston extender, and our single. And then it would retract back into the wall. So now I am fairly certain that is all of my triple piston extender builds that I have. And would you look at that? I managed to find the compact version of the triple piston extender right here, right next to it. So I did manage to compact it, triple piston extension, and of course the retraction. Yeah, I was like, I could have sworn I had compacted this build down because it definitely, I remember it started out being this bulky. If that's the one. And it turned from that into this. So definitely a lot more compact. And you can see here I made an attempt at a quadruple piston extender. But uh, yeah, I don't think, I don't know why there's a block above that one. I never figured it out. Before we close out today's video, I want to go back to this build right here. Because this build, I offered as a challenge to the Bowtie Man. That's right, I challenged the Bowtie Man to make this build more compact. And for those who haven't seen the Bowtie Man's channel, I highly recommend you go check out his channel. A card to it will be popping up in the top right corner. And he is such an amazing bedrock redstoner. Just the things he does is absolutely crazy. It is mind-blowing. And we have been talking about redstone over the past couple of years. He's actually helped me with a few of my builds. And yeah, just just a great guy, amazing redstoner. Check out his channel. But the challenge I offered to him was, just like I showed you here, I showed him this build, what it does, showed him how bulky it is. And again, this is three plus years old. And I offered him the challenge of making this smaller. I don't know about all of you, but I am super excited for this challenge. I'm really looking forward to what the Bowtie Man cooks up, and his video should be coming out a week or so after this one. So be on the lookout for that, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. But with that being said, everyone, this is going to be the end of today's Redstone video. I hope you all enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I will see you later.